Hey guys! Today Sea of Thieves has launched their second tall tale from the Monkey Island Tall Tales The Quest for Guybrush. In this video we'll guide you through this tale and collect all the 5 journals and collect all the 10 memoirs so you can complete the commendations and unlock the idol o many hands and the governor Guybrush portrait. To start the tale, you'll need to visit Kate, who can be found at the capsized charters on any outpost. The book lies next to the book of the previous tall tale. When you start the tale, Kate will start her story and the pirate lord will appear. He will open the portal nearby the closest ar archway. So get on your ship and sail through it! Once you're done traveling through the Tunnel of the Damned, you'll spawn at Melee Island where you can dock your ship. Now head over to the house of Mojo and speak to Corina. She will tell you that she can make a brew to get Guybrush back to his senses. She'll also explain to you that you'll need to complete three legendary trials. Now go to the pirate leaders who can be found in the scum bar. He'll explain all the three trials to you. The trial of the sword, the trial of the thievery and the trial of the treasure huntery. Now your first task will be to clear the fog where the three pirate leaders talk about. Now you'll have to head over to Corina, but before you do that, first visit the chef at the scum bar to unlock one of the commendations. He ain't that happy and will fire you from the job he gave you in the previous tale. When that is done, go to Corina to let her know you have the permission of the pirate leaders to do the legendary trials. She'll also give you a list with items that you need to collect to start the trials. The mighty pirate sword, a rubber chicken and a treasure map. Now talk to the citizen who can be found on the corner. When you talk to him, choose the last option and ask if you can trade for the treasure map which you need. He will ask you a chart of one of the governor's adventures in return. It's located on the shelves of the governor's mansion. Now you'll need to stop by the general store and talk to the storekeeper. It's on your way to the governor's mansion. Talk to him and choose the last option asking if he offers credit. He'll give you the credit note that needs to be signed so you can trade it for the rubber chicken and the mighty pirate sword. When this is done, go to the governor's mansion. The book you need can be found on the shelves left of the stairs. When you pull it out, Guybrush signed sea chart will fall out of it. Pick it up. To get your credit note signed, go upstairs to Guybrush and steal his key. Then turn around and open the small storage chest left of the door. When you open it, you'll discover a captain's inkwell. Now put it on the table and search for the right inkwell that can be found on the table in front of the stairs. Then also put it on the table. Also place a note on the table so you can sign it. Then go back to the storekeeper to hand him over the signed note. Now you can buy the items you need. The rubber chicken can be found upstairs and the mighty pirate sword lies downstairs. Purchase them both. Next go to the citizen of Melee and hand over Guybrush signed sea chart. In return you'll get the treasure map. Now return to Corina to give her the rubber chicken, sword and treasure map. She'll give you a mojo potion to clear the fog. You can take the potion to look out and throw it over the campfire. This way the fog will be cleared. Candles will appear and guide you through a new path down lookout point to the southeast. Follow it until you reach the zip line, which you need to use of course. Now use a lever to lower the bridge. Cross the bridge and once you've crossed it you'll find barrels on the left of it. This is the first memoir spot. The first journal from Elaine can be found on the broken cart. Follow the path until you reach the ladders. The second journal can be found upstairs on top of one of the barrels. 
Now go more upstairs until you reach the zip line. Use it to go downstairs again. Once there, go to the beacon so you will see the ghost of Guybrush. This is the start of the trial of treasure huntery. You can find a path you need to follow on the two last pages of your quest book. You can try to do this yourself and if not, you can follow our video. When Guybrush's ghost disappears, you'll need to go through and follow the first path to the right. Keep on following the path until you see the wooden log. Cross it and keep on following the path until Guybrush's ghost appears again. Then follow the first path at the left to the northeast. Follow the path again until you reach the camp and Guybrush's ghost appears again. Follow the pad again until you encounter another small bridge. Keep on walking until you find some yellow flowers. Guybrush's ghost will appear again. Now move forward to the torch. At the torch, go left and you'll see Guybrush digging next to a sign. Dig at the spot and you'll find the chest of treasury hunter. Open it so some new pages will be added to your quest book. When you turn around, you'll see a rock. Sit on the rock so you've discovered the second memoir. Now go to the torch and go to the right of it, back to the yellow flowers. Follow the path to the left. The third journal can be found at a broken bridge left of you on a rock. Now get back to the beacon where we started. Now do the legendary monkey, which can be found in your quest book. Right in front of the entrance of the beacon, you can find the artist's shack. Then follow the path until you find the lantern. Go to the right and keep on following the path until you pass a scarecrow. Once at the wagon, you'll need to walk through the two dead trees to the fishing camp. Stand in front of the fishing pole and start to dig. Here you'll find the chest of treasury hunter. When you'll open it, you'll receive the legendary monkey part 2. This will be added to your quest book. Return to the dead trees and go to the left. Follow the path until you reach the bridge. Cross the bridge and keep on going until you find a tree with a lantern in it. Keep on following the path until you reach a camp in the middle of a bunch of trees. Now follow the path again until you find a building with lights. Now look at the right and you will find a tree with Carla carved in it. Now dig at the sword at the tree. You'll find a chest of treasury hunter. And when you open it, you'll receive legendary monkey part 3, which is the last part. Pages will be added to your quest book again. At the tree, you need to follow the path until you reach the zip line. Use it and head over to Stan's previously owned vessels. The third memoir can be found in front of Stan, so don't forget to sit on that barrel. Then walk to the rowboat to find the fourth journal. Now keep on following the path until the bridge. Cross the bridge and go to the right. Walk through the rocks. And when you reach the torch, you'll have to dig for the last time to find the golden chest. When you open it, you'll receive the trophy of the legendary treasure huntery. So pick it up. Now Corina will appear through a portal. Hand the trophy over to her. And now you've completed the first trial and earned your first commendation. Get back to Stan's previously owned vessels. Talk to Stan and go to the rowboat to talk to Stan again. Then walk to the dock and ask Stan about the Isophius Carmichael. Then do the same for the Black Pearl and the Headless Monkey. Next you'll have to stand in front of his office. Talk to him again and choose the last option where you ask about the cheapest ship. Now choose the fourth option and ask who bought the Headless Monkey. He'll tell you that Meat Hook is the owner who lives on Hook Island. Get to the south until you reach the zipline. Use it and follow the path to the tree with the carving. 
At your right, you'll see a sign with Hook Island. When you sit on the rock, you've discovered the Fort Memoir. Now use a zipline to meet Hook's house. Just enter the house and talk to meet Hook. Choose the last option. He will give you the bill of sale for the headless monkey if you can bring back the beast home. When you're done talking, turn around and sit on the barrel to unlock the fifth memoir. Now head over to the cage and remove the five cutlasses. After you did that, you'll need to collect some wood to repair it. Go outside the house to the left where you can find the required planks. Repair the cage in three different places, then go outside to the right until you see the sign Rare Mob Tree Sapling. You can break a stick of the tree next to it. Take the stick and return to the house. Use it to repair the lever. Meathook will ask you to find banana grease. Search his house until you find it. You can open boxes and cabinets and you will find the concentrated banana grease. Once you've found it, give it to Meathook. He will tell you now that you'll need a shanty to tame the beast. You can find it in his bed underneath a pillow. Then go outside back to the forest. Go upstairs on the mountain, choose a shanty, summon the beast and play it. The beast will appear and start dancing. Then pick him up, use your primary action button to tickle him to unlock the commendation Tickle the Beast. Now bring him to Meat Hook in his cage. Use a lever to seal the cage. Meat Hook will now give you the bill of sale for the headless monkey. Then return to Stan's previously owned vessels. Give the bill of sale to Stan. Then keep on talking to Stan. He will explain everything about the cannons and capstan. Ask him about the furniture so he will get into the closet to show you it is possible to play hide and seek in it. Lock the closet, interact with it a couple of times so you can push it inside the ocean. This will unlock the commendation fantastic voyage. Then get Stan's office key which can be found behind the vending machine. Open his office and once inside you'll find Stan's sales ledger. Pick it up and go to the last page. Here you will find how to open up the safe inside his office. You'll find directions like left 2, right 3, left 1. Interact with the safe. Turn the lever to the left or the right as instructed in the ledger. When you open it, you'll find the idol o many hands. When you pick it up, Corina will appear outside. Give her the idol to complete the trial of thievery. You'll also unlock the commendation. Now head back to the north over the bridge. Keep on following the path until you reach the letters again at the journal. Keep on following the path until you find a way to the right. Follow this path now. On the rock you'll find the 6th memoir spot. Go to the circus, go inside and talk to Bill and Alfredo. Now you're able to collect the costume on the little stage. Get back to the brothers and put on the costume by using the clothing chest. Before you're doing the parkour, put the cannon in the right angle so you make sure you'll fly through all the rings and land in the basket of water. If you don't do it right, you'll get disqualified. This is how you need to complete the parkour. If you want to unlock the commendation Spectacular Superstar, you'll have to complete the parkour in less than 25 seconds. When you finish the parkour, you'll have to talk to the Fettuccini brothers again to collect your 404 pieces of weight. Before you go, 
Don't forget to unlock the seventh memoir. You'll have to sit on the red barrel at the cannon. When you're done, return to Stan. Go to the vending machine to buy some grog with your earned pieces of weight. Drink the grog, but not too much. It seems to be very strong, if you know what I mean. <laughs> then head to the south. In front of the house of Captain Smirk, you can find a rock. When you sit on it, you'll have discovered the eighth memoir. Before you enter the house, collect the mighty pirate sword in the armory. Then knock on the door. When he opens the door, talk to him and take your sword and show it to him. Captain Smirk will teach you how insult sword fighting works. He'll teach you two insults and two retorts. All the others have to be gathered across Monkey Island. Before you go out there, make sure to unlock the ninth memoir by sitting on the cage in his house. There are 10 insults with each their 10 retorts to learn. When you leave Captain Smirk, you'll have learned two of each. So you'll need to learn 8 more insults and 8 more corresponding retorts. Go outside and use a zipline to cross the water. When you cross it, the lantern will turn green and Captain Murray will appear. Talk to him and choose the last option to let him know you're ready to fight. During these fights, you'll learn all the insults and retorts that you'll need. Sometimes you will win these fights and sometimes you will lose these fights. But don't worry, this is the way it works. During these fights, you're still learning every insult and retort. So at this point, it doesn't matter that much if it's right or wrong. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that you use insults you have not used before to learn the corresponding retort. It might sound very complicated at this point, but once you're trying it out, it will get much clearer how it works. This is a list with all the insults and their corresponding retorts. We'll also put the list in the description below the video. When you take your quest book on this page, you'll see all the marks that show you where you need to go to collect them all. If you keep on following the path, you'll pass all these places anyway. If you've collected them all, you'll unlock the commendation. When you go back to Captain Murray, you'll need to win the last fight. When you win, he will give you the instructions to find the Sword Master. The pages will also be added to your quest book. Now you'll have to return to the field of yellow flowers from the trial of Treasure Huntery. Go southeast to the place where you found one of Elaine's journals. At the back of the sign, you'll find a secret switch. Use it and the two logs will rise and become a bridge you can cross. Cross the bridge and make your way to the Sword Master. There you'll find Ripsy, who you'll have to fight. During this fight, you'll need to use the insults and retorts you've learned before. You can only defend yourself with retorts, but the insults Ripsy uses aren't always exactly the same as the insults you've learned before. The meaning of the insults are the same as you've learned and the corresponding retorts are also the same. But when you read between the lines, you'll surely be able to use the right retort on Ripsy's insults. When you've defeated Ripsy, you'll receive Carlos' medallion. Now you've completed the Trial of the Sword, which will also unlock its commendation. So all the three trials are completed and you can return to Corina. But before you do that, you need to walk across the bridge. Left of it, you'll see a rock where you can sit on. By doing this, you've unlocked the 10th memoir. Then, go to the exit of the forest. There you go to the right and follow the path until you reach the lantern. There you go to the left on the way to the mansion. At your left side, you'll find the 5th journal at a rock. Now, go back to Corina at the house of Mojo. She will give you the Mojo Potion of Unclouded Minds. Then head to Guybrush in the Governor's Mansion. Give him the potion, so he'll be free from the spell. When this is done, you'll need to get back to your ship. 
then sail through the portal again to get back to the Sea of Thieves. This way the tall tale will be completed. So this was our guide through the second tall tale of Monkey Island, the quest for Guybrush. Now you should have earned every commendation and have found all the 5 journals and all the 10 memoirs. We hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you next time!